Welcome to Bot Wars week three. Super excited for this week. So we just crossed the halfway mark for the Bot Games Bot Wars challenges. I hope you guys have had fun with these challenges so far. Uh, it was exciting to see all the different times that we got last week. Lots of different approaches for solving that supply chain challenge. Now, this week, our theme is going to be human resources, okay? And this is a very common bot type that we see a lot of organizations creating. So let's jump right into this. Our objective for this week is that we have a new human resources management application. It's called Busy Bees. And employee data must be consolidated from two different locations to basically have that one application be the single source of truth for our employee data. Okay, so what that means is we're going to have a Windows thick client app where we need to enter an employee ID, do a lookup to grab the data for that employee. We also have an API. So we've got an HR onboarding API. We need to grab data from both of those locations and fill out this busy bees human resources application uh, details, right? So what's going to happen here is the page will load and it will randomly give you an employee ID. You'll need to fill out all of the details for that employee ID. Some of those details come from the uh, Windows Thick Client app. Some of them come from the API. You'll hit submit and another randomized employee ID will be provided for you. You're going to do that 10 times in total. Okay, so you're going to have to keep submitting. You're going to have to keep looking them up and you're going to have to keep entering all the data for those employees. Now, our only rule for this week is that your bot must grab the data from the Windows application during processing. So that means we don't want to see you pre-caching all of the data for all employees because that's not really practical, right? That's not how a real bot would work, especially if you're building it for work. So what we're going to want to do is you're going to have to launch that Windows application and extract data from that as well as the API during your bot's processing. Okay, let's take a look at these and I'll show you a couple tips here on what this looks like. Let me switch over to this screen. All right, so this is the page. Uh, this is, the URL is in the description and text below, so you'll have that. I know you probably can't read it off my screen, but this is our Busy Bees resource management application. So like I mentioned, that there's two resources for our data, right? There's our Windows Thick Client Legacy app. There's also our HR onboarding API. For the Windows Thick Client Legacy app, you can download this once, right? Your bot doesn't have to download this app every single time. But what I want to show you here is what it looks like when you're actually opening it up. So I'm going to double click on this and it's going to give me like this little error basically saying like, hey, do you want to run this? And uh, I'm just going to hit more info here and hit run anyway. Um, this is just like a small utility that was developed by our team. It's not something that's like a signed application. We put the full code for this on GitHub. So if you want to take a look at it and you want to examine it to make sure we're not pulling any tricks on you, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, but that, I just wanted to point that out. That will pop up for the very first time that you launch the app. Anyway, you would come here and you would fill out the employee details, right? So the one that's on the screen right now is 1012. I'll hit search. It's going to give me all the employee details for that employee. My bot would need to grab these details fill out this web form and I'd probably want to hit clear here to make sure I don't get any leftover data. Okay. The other side of this is that we have to call the HR onboarding API. And so we've got an API that stood up right here. I'm going to grab this. There's only one parameter to feed in and that's the ID, right? So the API endpoint ends with this slash employees will provide one parameter, which is the ID of the employee we want to look up. And then we can pull back the employee's start date and the employee's phone number, both details that are needed to fill out this form. Okay, so as you go through, it's going to score you. There are 11 fields to fill out per employee, and it will give you your time just like we saw for the other applications. All right, last thing to cover here. Let me switch back to the week three slide. There we go. Uh, so just like with the other two weeks, we're going to be giving out swag. Our social team is looking for people who are sharing their time, sharing their results. It's really important that we're building community during this as well. So be the kind of person who shares their results and also share some tips about how you did it, right? We want other people to learn from 
our own solutions. We want people to see the different ways that we can solve problems. You know, the, the real genesis for all of this is that we want developers to be able to think about problems in new ways and to think about new applications of tools they may not have used before, right? Using the browser package with run JavaScript is something that's brand new for a lot of you, but I've seen a ton of people on social media who are starting to use that now. So now when you go back to work and you have like a real problem you gotta figure out, hey, you've got a new tool that you can approach that with, and you've got a new way that you can tackle that problem. The same goes with the web automation package and JSON object manager. So lots of different tools at your disposal. Like I announced last week, Bot store downloads are available now. So if you want to download a package from Bot store and install that into Community Edition, you can do that. That will enable you to use things like the JSON Object Manager. That will allow you to use things like the Web Automation Package. So be sure to go and try those out if you want to try and play around with your speed or try and play around with the, uh, the approach that you're taking to solve this problem, okay? So like we said before, use the Bot Games uh, hashtag and the RPA August hashtag and be sure to tag three other developers to challenge you, right? When we do that kind of stuff, it's cool to see how developers are responding back. And hey, I challenged my friend and he actually had a better time than me. So now I gotta try and beat him again or beat her again. So uh, it's fun to do that kind of stuff. It's fun to see that kind of competition on social media. It's all fun. It's all about learning and getting better at using automation anywhere, okay? Enjoy this challenge, have fun with this one. I'll see you on social media and we'll be back on Thursday for a tutorial on how we would suggest to solve this. I'm Micah Smith, go be great.